Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion insight again. And this morning I want to share with you turning tests into testimonies. And Luke chapter 21 verse 13 says this, it will lead to an opportunity for your testimony. You know, sometimes when we go through life um, and it's just, it happens, we go through trials, we go through sufferings. And uh, we actually sometimes spend too much time trying to understand the reason for our trials and our suffering. Rather, we should tell ourselves, I want to focus on how I can deal with it. I can manage it. I can overcome it. So we, we notice that Jesus spent very little time trying to explain human of suffering, much less explain it away. Had he undertaken to explain it, then his gospel would have become a what? A philosophy. In which case, it would not have been a gospel. So a philosophy undertakes to explain everything and then leaves everything as it was. Jesus undertook to explain little but he changed everything he touched. He did not come to bring a philosophy, but he came to bring a fact. What was that fact? The fact was his own method of meeting suffering and transforming it into something higher. You know, out of this fact, we put together sometimes philosophies and a system of principles and procedures by which we live out our life in this world. You know, some people say, you know, uh, I, I like to learn more things. I, I want to, uh, I mean, you know, uh, philosophize. And we, we tend to think that ideas are good, which is nothing wrong. But here, notice that the fact comes first and then the philosophy about the fact. The good news is not merely good news. It is the fact of sin and suffering being met and overcome and a way of life blaze out through them. You know, the fact of the matter is that we have a good news and the fact of the good news is that, you know, sin happened and suffering came together with sin. So this reminds us that even in God's universe, He allows only what He can use. In the passage where just now we read, it says it will lead to an opportunity of your testimony. You know, in this passage before this, Jesus gives the reason or the sources from which suffering comes from or comes upon us. Confused religionists, you know, wars, conflicts in society, calamities in nature and so on and so forth. Then he says, this will lead to an opportunity for your testimony. So in other words, you are not to escape trouble, I am not to escape trouble, nor merely bear it as the will of God. You and I are to use it for the purpose that God has allowed it to, so that we can be able to grow, so that we can be able to shine, so that our lives will be able to say, yes, I thank God that it is by His grace He has helped me, He has guided me, He has pulled me through. You know, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you know, God is my shepherd, He has led me through it. And then what happens? It leads to an opportunity for our testimony. So this morning, let us just, this be our prayer. Says, Lord, blessed Lord, you who use your suffering to beautify everything you did, teach me the art of turning every test that I go through into a testimony and every tragedy into a triumph. For I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So let our lives shine as a testimony of the goodness of God, you know, of the favour of God, of the healing of God, of the touch of God. Even though sometimes answers don't come immediately, but we know that whatever we go through, will lead us to an opportunity for a testimony. Amen. God bless you and have a great week.